Hi, I'm Gidon from thetechnologyman.com. I've pulled over all the tech and gadgets I've had my hands on in 2023, and I've come up with a list of some of my favourites. I have something for every budget, from £10 to £500. Whether it's a gift for someone else or yourself, hopefully this list might help. I've not had a chance to review everything I'll discuss in this video on this channel, but if I have, I'll include a link on screen and down below. Many of the items in this list I paid for with my own money, but if I receive something for free, I'll let you know. Although nothing in this list is sponsored, these are all my own choices. I'll provide links to everything I mention in the video description, so please check the current pricing. So in ascending order of price, let's get started. I've reviewed plenty of torches, but the Olight i3e is a great little torch for around £11. It runs off a single AAA battery, it's simple to operate with just one mode, and it's pretty bright considering just how small it is, at around 90 lumens. It comes in loads of colours and is often given away free in Olight's monthly sales. The Pika Dry Pencil makes the perfect gift for anyone into DIY. At £12 it's pricey for a pencil, but it can reach into deep holes and it writes on almost anything, including rough wood and metal. It has a thick 2.8mm lead that can be sharpened with the integrated sharpener. It's made in Germany and the build quality is very good. If you have a little more money to spend, they also do it in a set with a 0.9mm automatic pencil, a deep hole marker pen, a white marker and loads of refills. I wasn't very impressed with the white marker, but it all comes in a nice case. The Nipex Cobra XS adjustable pliers are only 100mm long and are great value at around £24. They're small enough to fit in most pockets, but their super slim jaws open up to 28mm and have very strong teeth that can bite into even hard metal. Nipex also do their pliers wrench in this compact size too, but with smooth parallel jaws. I found them very useful when travelling with my bike. In my home workshop, I have their 200mm version, which is superior to a big heavy adjustable spanner in almost every way. All these Nipex tools are made in Germany, and the two XS tools fit in this tiny pouch, if you're after the perfect gift for anyone who loves any sort of DIY, if your budget allows. It's a bit pricey for what it is, at around £30, but the pop socket's pop grip round the MagSafe snaps onto the back of any phone or phone case. It's perfect for comfortably holding larger phones, and it also makes an excellent stand for watching video content, although only in landscape mode. They do supply a sticky magnetic adapter ring for phones without MagSafe, but it works perfectly well with my iPhone 15 Pro Max with the Grams 28 leather case, which already has MagSafe built in. And the attachment is very strong, yet it's still easy to remove as needed. I pull it off to attach this ESR car mount. This car mount didn't quite make my list since it runs a little hot, but it's excellent in every other way. The Victorinox Compact Swiss Army Knife has just the right combination of functions, including the always useful scissors, pen and tweezers, as well as the usual functions like a blade and can opener. It's a perfect accompaniment to the Nipex Cobra XS. It only weighs 64 grams and is small and slim enough for any pocket. It's the usual Victorinox quality and it's a bargain at around £33. The Rovivon Aurora A8 won my roundup of keychain torches and it's still the torch I always carry with me. It does seem a little expensive at around £40 but it's well built and has every function you might want in a keychain or everyday carry torch and has USB-C charging built in. It weighs just 23 grams but has 650 lumens of output and a decent 110 meter throw. It's got a magnetic base and pocket clip and there's a side light with multiple LEDs. You've got a warm white reading light, a red light with a flashing mode which is very useful for being seen and even a UV LED for identifying counterfeit banknotes amongst other things. It has a clever user interface but may take a short while to get used to. It's difficult picking a Bluetooth speaker, I've reviewed so many on this channel. But the Anker Motion Plus, currently £68, is still one of my favourites. It's compact, sounds good, and I quite like its design, although I'd like the buttons to stand out a little more. Anker's Motion Boom is similar and sounds a little better, but I'm not so keen on its design, and it's bigger and bulkier. The Max Dry Boot Dryer is honestly one of the best things I've bought this last year. It's unfortunately gone up a little in price since I bought it, I paid just over £50. But even at £70, if you're into the outdoors and know the pain of trying to dry wet trainers, cycling shoes and walking boots, you'll very quickly wonder how you lived without it. It blows slightly warm air through your footwear and takes around three hours to safely, completely dry, moderately wet footwear. If they're soaking, they may require another cycle. This model does two pairs of shoes at a time, with the rear dryers for longer boots. The build quality is nothing special, 
and the dial to set drying time feels cheap, but it's survived constant use and abuse over the last year from the whole family. After a wet bike ride or walk, there's a scramble to load your footwear before it fills up. Another torch for you, but this one is more of an all-round gadget. I'm confident it'll make a great gift for a lot of people. The Olight Baton 4 Premium is £70 on sale. I would only get it on sale since Olight has a sale almost every month. It's a very small but powerful 1300 lumen torch and it comes in a nifty charging case which not only charges it up to five times but also acts as a power bank. Perfect for the car, travel or general use. The Crucial X9 is a super compact, fast, portable SSD for carrying and working on all your files on the move. I have the one terabyte version which only costs £70, the two terabyte version doesn't cost much more. That makes it one of the best value SSDs around. Build quality is excellent, it's drop proof to over 2 meters. It has 1050 megabytes per second read and write speed which I confirmed on my MacBook. That's fast enough to edit 4K footage off if that's what you need it for. I bought it to use in my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I designed and printed this adapter to attach it which also acts as a useful grip. I'll be covering this in more detail in an upcoming video, but I can now directly record high quality ProRes footage up to 60 frames per second using the built-in camera app directly to this SSD. The Meter Plus is a wireless smart thermometer that connects via Bluetooth to your phone. I use it mainly on the barbecue, but you can also use it for your oven Sunday roast too. It's a little expensive for what it is, so again, I'd only buy it on sale. It's currently £80. But its best feature is the app. It has a comprehensive database of fish and cuts of meat with recommended cooking temperatures. The probe measures the internal temperature, but also the oven temperature. And the app uses these temperatures to estimate remaining cooking time, which is brilliant. There's even a graph that tracks temperatures. It's not perfect though. The app doesn't give any recommendation on what the barbecue or oven temperature should be. And wireless range is poor. Luckily, you can use your mobile devices as repeaters. I leave my iPad near the cook and thermometer and can then track the progress on my phone over Wi-Fi. The ISDT Power 200H 200W charger is around £100 and has three fast charging USB-C ports, one USB-A port with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 supports and a 15W wireless charging pad on top. It has a colour digital display and an accompanying app that shows exactly how fast your tech is charging. The app even has a graph that tracks charging progress. This model has two 65W and one 100W USB Power Delivery 3.0 ports. The 100W port will fast charge the latest 14-inch MacBook Pros. The 16-inch MacBook Pro would need the more expensive model with the 140W Power Delivery 3.1 port, for fast charging at least. It's hard to fault, even the fan is pretty quiet and it looks good too. This gadget is perfect for the golfer in your family. The Red Tiger rangefinder costs around £100 and can measure the distance to any object, golf flag or animal to the nearest 0.5 meter, up to an impressive 1100 meters away. It fires an infrared laser beam and measures the time it takes for the reflection to be received, which it converts to a distance. Considering the laser is travelling at the speed of light, it's quite staggering just how accurately it can measure this time and calculate the distance. This model has a useful 7x magnification and vibrates when it locks onto a golf flag. It can also be used for hunting and can even measure the speed of an animal or anything else for that matter. Plus it has angle measurement which amongst other things provides golfers a slope adjusted distance to work off. This mode can be turned off for tournaments where that's not allowed. Whilst we're on lasers I can't help but include the Mars C laser measure with the built-in camera. It currently costs £130. If you've never owned a laser measure they're incredibly useful gadgets. Not only are they faster and easier to use than a tape measure but with a built-in tilt sensor, they also have clever mathematical functions to calculate various distances, including height, and this one even measures point to point. So I can point the laser at one end of a gutter and then the other to get a pretty accurate measurement without even getting a ladder out. I wanted a laser measure also for outdoor use. This model has a killer feature where it uses its built-in camera to measure up to 100 meters outdoors, where typically you wouldn't be able to see the laser dot. The 100 meter range is a little optimistic, it depends how reflective the object you're measuring is. But I've got close to that. If you don't need to use it outside, you could spend a lot less for a model without a camera. I've just fitted the Tado wireless smart thermostat kit, which cost £135. It's a smart heating solution. After installation, you can control your heating via an app. It's compatible with almost every boiler on the market and it doesn't require professional installation. The starter kit has a receiver you wire into the boiler a wireless bridge you plug into your router, 
and a wireless thermometer you attach to your wall. I've since added their radiator thermostats for room by room control, but that's not absolutely necessary. You can access the app via your phone or a computer and it has auto assist features. For instance, turning off your heating when you leave the house and turning it back on again as you return. Although some of these auto assist features do require a £30 per year subscription. Once installed, you can use Alexa or Apple Home to control your heating. For instance, I can say, Alexa, turn up the heating in the children's bedrooms. It's completely transformed our aging boiler. I'd highly recommend it with a few caveats I'll cover in my upcoming review. The Shox Open Fit Open Ear headphones currently £152 and my new favourite headphones for running. They don't have the noticeable vibration you get with Shox bone conduction headphones and they sound better too. The Open Fit are also true wireless. They no longer have the neckband and they now come with a compact, convenient charging case. If you want to save some money, I do still like the Shox Open Run Pro and the neckband can be useful to stow the headphones around your neck. The Works Nitro Hydro Shot is a battery operated cordless pressure washer. I bought it when we had a hose pipe ban since it can run off a rainwater butt or even a 2 litre drinks bottle, but it's much more capable than I thought it'd be. It's currently £200 but I got it for a lot less on sale so look out for the discounts. It comes with all the accessories you need, although I did pick up this short lance attachment which makes it less cumbersome to use when you don't need the long reach of the standard lance. It's perfect for cleaning our bikes, it has an adjustable nozzle with anything from a light sprinkle to an intense focused jet of water. It's not as powerful as my Karsha K5, but it's far more convenient only having to hook up water. And the 4 amp hour battery will do maybe 10 bike washes or one wash of my VW Transporter van. The Hupar S04 CG self leveling laser level is another gadget I'm wondering how I did without. This basically replaces your spirit level and fires 360 degree laser lines all around your room. It has four green lasers, two horizontal and two vertical. It achieves automatic level via small pendulums that quickly settle after you turn the unit on. It's remarkably accurate. I checked all four lasers. Way more accurate than a spirit level and far more convenient. The Hupar also has an LCD screen, which gives an X and Y readout of the angle, which I really like. You can lock the pendulums and use the laser in manual mode to set, say, a 45 degree angle to align picture frames up a wall, up a staircase. And the Hupar comes with a load of accessories in a hard case, including a fine adjustment mount and a remote control, and can even be controlled via a Bluetooth app. The Hupar costs over £200, but I'll be comparing it against cheaper models in an upcoming review. The Gosney Rockbox Pizza Oven retails at £400, but it's often on sale at £320. It reaches temperatures of up to 500 degrees centigrade and can cook a pizza in just 60 seconds. It runs off gas as standard, but Gosney does an optional wood burner. The rock box has a thick 90mm stone, which does a good job of retaining its heat when you're cooking one pizza after another. It comes with an excellent perforated pizza peel for loading pizzas into the oven, and there's a convenient temperature dial on the side that gives a clear indication of temperature of the stone, so you know when you're ready to cook. It was a family hit over the summer, it makes amazing pizzas and it looks very stylish. My only criticism is how long it takes to heat up. In summer it can take up to 45 minutes, which isn't too bad with careful planning. Over winter we keep the oven covered, but it can still take hours to get up to temperature if the non-removable stone gets even slightly damp. The Topdon TC005 is a thermal imaging camera that I find new uses for all the time. Just recently for balancing all the radiators after a boiler issue but you can use it around your house to check for damp patches, diagnose electrical faults, even to check your pizza oven is up to temperature. Thermal cameras have very low resolution compared to visible light cameras, but the 256 by 192 resolution of this camera is actually very impressive for its price. There's enough resolution to see even small variations in temperature, and there's a built-in visible camera too, which can be merged with the thermal image to enhance detail further. You can even connect it to your computer with a supplied USB-C cable for some quite advanced analysis if you want. I've owned two FLIR thermal cameras that connect to my phone, but this is far better and comparable in price, and I much prefer having a standalone unit that doesn't rely on my phone. It's more robust too. My only real criticism is its slow boot time. It runs its own operating system and it's around 40 seconds before it's ready for use. And it is still pretty pricey at around £350 to £400. Pounds but look out for frequent reductions on Amazon. The Insta360 GO 3 is a thumb-sized versatile action camera weighing just 36 grams. It comes with a generous selection of accessories including the action pod 
which has a built-in flip-up LCD screen and turns the Go 3 into a more general-purpose super compact camera. The image stabilisation is excellent and Insta360's smartphone app makes it very easy to edit and share your footage. It does lack a 4K video mode and its £380 price tag is a little steep, but it is a lot of fun and currently the camera I grab most often when I'm out for a bike ride or run. I've reviewed a lot of portable power stations this year, which are great for camping, outdoor DIY and around the house for power cuts. The Bluetti AC70 I just reviewed has a 1000 watt inverter and a 768 watt hour long lasting LFP battery. That's enough power for most household items and a decent capacity whilst also keeping the unit portable. Most impressively, it's only around £500, which is close to half what you had to pay for a similar 1000 watt unit a couple of years ago. And back then, you wouldn't have had super fast mains charging, smartphone app control, and 100 watt USB C charging ports. There is a lot of tech I'd like to include over £500, but I'll save that for another list. If you'd be interested in that, please let me know down below. As always, if you have any questions, please ask. I read every comment and will do my best to respond. I do hope you found this video useful. Please like the video if you did. I'm releasing videos every week on the latest technology and how to get the most out of it, so please make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to tap the bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as a new video gets uploaded. Thanks for watching.